Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Science Mass Channel. This is question number three from the uh, June, October 2020 International A Level Pure Mathematics P1 um, Edexcel paper. Here we have a question about um, areas and perimeters, radian measure. Here we have a question that tells us that this diagram is not drawn to scale. It says it's, a, it's the design for a badge. Um, it says consists of two congruent triangles, AOC and BOC. So you have AOC, this one on top here, AOC and BOC, uh, congruent, joined to a sector AOB of a circle center O. So you have a set sector here of a circle AOB with center O. <clears throat> it says angle AOB is, part, is um, alpha. AO and OB are the same course because they are both the radius and OC equals five centimeters so we know that these two are equal in size these two are also congruent triangles it says given that the area of sector AOB is 7.2 centimeters squared show that alpha equals 1.6 radians so this angle here we got to show that it's 1.6 radians um, given that the area of the sector just the sector part is uh, 7.2 centimeters squared okay so we know that the area of a sector is given by the formula half r squared theta okay when the angles are measured in radians so the measure angles are measured in radians the area is a half r squared theta so as they ask us to find that the the angle is 1.6 radians of course it's far easier for us to use this formula okay so, doesn't really make sense to change things into or to use uh, like some students do theta over 360 times 2 pi r um, uh, times pi r squared sorry it doesn't really make sense to use that formula when you have to find your angles in radians because there you get your angles in degrees and then you have to change them to radians over here this will automatically give your angle in radians and you know the area is 7.2 and you know the radius is 3 centimeters, so it's a half times 3 squared, and you know the angle is alpha. Okay, the angle that we have to find, we've, they've called it alpha. So we're going to have uh, 7.2 times 2 over 9 equals alpha, so you can say alpha is equal to, and you just make sure, you don't have to really do much here, just make sure that that gives you the right answer, 7.2 times 2, divided by 9 gives you 8 over 5 which is 1.6 so we have 1.6 radians okay there we have the answer to part a pretty simple okay so part b says um the design okay so it says given that the area of sector a or b is okay we also know that so b says hence find the area of the badge given the uh, giving your answer is centimeters squared to two significant figures okay so we've got to find the area of the whole batch so we already know that this is 7.2 uh, centimeters squared that's given to us in the question so we need to find the area of these two triangles now finding the area of one of these triangles um, will be enough for us because we can then multiply it by two because they are congruent triangles and add it to 7.2 so we need to find the area of one of these two triangles here um, and to do that we can see that they're not right angle triangles you can't use a half times base times height but you can use the formula a equals a half times a b sine theta this is a, a, the formula we can use to find the area of a triangle where we have two sides which we do and the angle between them which we have to find so we need to find this angle here okay let's call this angle theta now the angle theta as we can see from this diagram is going to be basically now this is also the angle theta isn't it this is also the angle theta because they are equal okay because these are congruent triangles so what we can say is that um, 2 theta plus alpha is equal to 360 or because we're dealing with radians it's equal to pi, um, pi radians 2 pi radians sorry one whole revolution is 2 pi okay so we can say that therefore um, and we know that the, uh, alpha is 1.6 so let me just write this over here we can say that uh, 2 theta plus alpha is equal to 2 pi 
Uh, so 2 theta plus 1.6 is equal to 2 pi. So theta is going to be 2 pi minus 1.6 divided by 2. Okay, which is the same as pi minus 0 0.8. Leave it in this form, that's fine. Okay, pi minus 0 0.8 is fine. Um, 1.6 divided by 2 is 0 0.8. I'm leaving it in, in, in an exact form. Okay, so that's a, that's the value of one of these angles. So this angle theta, you can say is pi minus 0 0.8. So we can say the area of the triangle, let's say BOC. So the area of the triangle BOC is equal to a half times A times B, which is three times five. Is it five there? Yep, 3 times 5, a half times 3 times 5, times the sine of the angle between them, sine of pi minus 0 0.8. Now, we've got to be very careful when we use our calculator, okay, when you're dealing with uh, trigonometry and radians, it has to be in radian mode. So I have to change this to radian mode, okay. It doesn't have to be in radian mode just to, like for part A, there's no problem. For part B, because we're using sine, and the angle I have to tell the calculator that the angle I'm putting in is in radians not in degrees so to do that I have to press I have to I have to put angle unit as radians so now it knows when I put the sign and I put an angle in there that the angle I put in is in radians so I have a half which is 0 0.5 times 3 times 5 times the sign and I'm going to put pi minus 0 0.8 pi minus 0 0.8 just keeping accuracy in your answers is better and that will give me the area of one triangle which is 5.3802 um, you can say 5.3802 that's centimeters squared therefore the total area of the whole thing is going to be 2 times 5.3802 plus 7.2 because we have the area of one triangle and then the area of the other, so it's two times that, plus 7.2, which they told us was the area of the sect in the first place. So that's going to give us our answer. So I take my answer here, I multiply it by 2, and then I add 7.2 to my answer. That gives me 17.96. So 17.96 centimeters squared. And the question told us to give the answer to two significant figures for part one. So two significant figures would be, basically that would become 18. That's the second significant figure is the nearest unit, so it's going to be the nearest whole number, which is 18 centimeters squared. And there's the answer for part one, which is finding the area. And part two is asking us to find the perimeter of the badge. To find the perimeter of the badge, I need to find the length of one of these sides like BC or AC and then I can just add that and find the length of the arc so to find the perimeter let me just move this out of the way so part two the perimeter okay so I need um, the length of the arc which is AB so I need the length of the arc AB plus I need um, AC plus BC or two times you could say BC. All right, so the length of the arc AB is equal to R theta or R alpha is equal to R times the angle which we call which we called alpha. So it's three times 1.6 which is going to be three, 4.8 centimeters. And we got to have, find the length of BC. Well, we can use here, for BC, we can use the cosine rule because we have two sides and the angle between the two sides and we want to find the, the third side. So the cosine rule is, um, you can say that A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus two BC cosine A. So we have the two sides and the angle between them, those are your B and C, and what you're finding is the A. So our BC is the A. So we're going to have 
5 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 5 times 3 times the cosine of the angle pi minus 0 0.8. So BC is going to be the square root of, because we want to find, we don't want BC squared. Um, it's going to be 5 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 5 times 3 times the cosine of the angle pi minus 0 0.8. Okay, and that will give us our answer for BC. And then we can multiply it by 2, and we'll get the perimeter when we add that to 4.8. So let's find out what that's going to give us. Again, the calculator must be in radian mode, which it is now, because we're going to put angle here, and so we have to tell the calculator that the the angle we're putting inside the cosine is in radians. So we have the square root of 5 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 5 times 3 times the cosine of our angle pi minus 0 0.8. And that gives us 7.4095. 7.4095. So our perimeter is going to be 2 times 7.4095 plus 4.2. So we take this answer, we multiply it by 2 to get both the lengths that we need, and then we add to it 4. Point, I think it's 4.8 actually, not 2. Can't read my own writing. Yeah, that's a 4.8. Let me just tidy that up a bit here. That's 4.8. Okay, so we take the answer, um, multiply by 2, which I did, plus 4.8. And that gives us 19.619, 19.619, which is 19 point, it says here, for us to give this answer to one decimal place, that's 19.6 centimeters. So there's the perimeter. That's the area, and that's the perimeter. 19.6 centimeters and that's the answer to question number um, three pretty simple question on radian measure and areas and perimeters and such um, okay thank you for watching um, other questions from this paper you should find in the playlist that should appear somewhere over here other questions on radian measure will be found in this playlist over here and You'll be able to subscribe to my channel if you wish. Click on the icon that appears in the middle. And on the top of the screen, you'll find a card which takes you to another P1 paper that you might be interested in. Thank you for watching and see you soon.